Hey guys, what's up? Lingling is back with another video. This is video number nine in my Chinese language series where I choose my favorite terms and link them to contemporary Chinese society problems and then I discuss it with you. Yes, teach you a little bit of Chinese from what I know and then I put out questions there and of course discuss as much as you want to. I really love to hear your opinion. You know that already. Uh, I love that you guys are very, very active. It's great in the comments. So please just keep going. And today's video is going to be very interesting. Um, actually, I was... Um, because I'm studying at a media university here in Beijing, so they took us to... What was it? The People's Daily or China Daily? People's Daily, maybe, I don't know, the names are so similar, I forget every time. Anyways, uh, we were at the headquarter and uh, we talked to the Anglo English section um, of the newspaper and the boss, he gave us all a newspaper for free, how lucky are we? <laughs> I was uh, looking through it on our way back and it was super interesting and I bumped into an article and I was like, oh, interesting. I want to make that into a video and that is what I'm doing now of course I'll put the links below so you can read the article as well basically I'm just going through a few of the things I read and um, I want to discuss it so please get ready to type all your opinions so I know what you think and we can talk about it anyways um, in this video I'm only gonna sh um, what? In this video, I am only gonna use one term. I'll teach you one term because it's more of a discussion video. Um, so the one I want to teach you is highway, and uh, highway basically means a sea turtle. And I think I um, I used this one in another video a long time ago as well. So if you want to see that, go and check that out. I'll put a link there. Um, yeah, so high grade means sea turtle, which also means that students, Chinese students, they go abroad to study and then when they come back, they are a sea turtle. And you're probably wondering why. <laughs> I was wondering the same, but apparently sea turtles, they come back at some point, I don't know. If you know, just let us know, but if you don't, then it's not important. Anyways, um, the article I was reading is called uh, China's College Graduates Face a New Reality with Fewer Jobs. That's the first one. And then, <clears throat> um, yeah, so basically when they come back, uh, there are not enough jobs for them. And the jobs they there are, the jobs that are here... In China, I'm in China by the way, uh, the jobs that are here when they come back, they are not as appealing as the ones they have been dreaming about because uh, the Chinese go abroad and they're like, oh, I'm special now, I've been abroad, I have all this new knowledge and I speak English and I should get a high salary and I'm a special person now, but the problem is that now it has been, it has become so common for Chinese graduates uh, to go abroad to take a year, two years, maybe even like a whole degree um, abroad. So the competition on this area is massive again. And you know, if you're going to Beijing for more job opportunities, there are also more people, of course, uh, like too many people, by the way. <laughs> Um, so yeah, here this other article is called Chinese graduates suffer from anxi anxiety and depression when returning from studying abroad. So basically, they go abroad, la la la, so much fun here, oh my god. Um, they get their degree or they study abroad for a certain amount of time and then when they come back, uh, they're just like, oh my god, I just came back from America. No, I, I don't know how they act, I'm sorry, I'm just making this into a play. <laughs> it's not like that. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not generalizing, I'm just making fun. Don't take it seriously, <laughs> it's just me. Um... Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is that they're coming back and they're like, oh, I should definitely earn 10,000 RMB as a start salary or 15,000 even or 20 because I'm special and I have this abroad experience, da da da. 
um, but because the competition is so harsh, uh, they can't get these jobs and usually the starting salary is around four or five thousand, which is literally nothing here. Um, it's, uh, it's like a primary teacher's salary in a smaller town or... Uh, it's not as much as the security guard doesn't earn that much, but still it's it's low. It's low. I get it. It's low um, So because their parents spend so much money right to send them abroad and study and it's so expensive And then they come back here and they earn such a small amount of money and I even heard rumors. I don't know if this is true. Please let me know in the comments below if it's true but I heard rumors that many Chinese companies they're like well we would rather choose people who have been studying here because if you go abroad for too long you get out of touch with the society and how things are working like basically um many chinese they love to send their children abroad already for their um college and then like bachelors and masters you know so if you stay abroad for five years and it's while you're growing up then when you're coming back i get that like you have no idea how business is working here because you studied everything abroad right so you should stay abroad and work in that place where you learned how to work uh that's one of the reasons why i would take my masters here because while i'm here i get the feeling of how it's working here and uh it's very different from home um, whereas that's the same with the, with the Chinese they go abroad and then when they come back they're just like totally out of touch like oh my god what's going on here <laughs> um, so that is what I heard that a lot of the big bosses were like we rather want to um, hire Chinese who worked hard in China also because the Chinese school system is really hard and they work a lot <clears throat> so they're more um, hardworking um, yeah so I don't know then I read this that they're depressed when they come back also because reverse uh, culture shock they have to work harder because abroad is just more relaxed and uh, China is just more harsh I would say um, you might say something different I'm sorry because I you know I link my uh, my personal opinion of course is from Denmark and I know uh, for a fact that when my Chinese friends they come to Denmark they're just like oh my god it's so relaxed here it's so nice easy going you know uh, you go to class and then you go home and you cook your own food and everything's fine um, whereas here you don't have a single moment like my friend he called me at like 10 11 one e friday evening and was like oh yeah i'm still in the office and i'm like oh my god dude like what and he was like yeah well that's just what we have to do um and he has actually been in denmark for a year and got the taste of the danish lifestyle but he was like you know i still need to go home um so of course he's hard working but i can imagine that if you go abroad and you get the feeling that oh abroad they don't work that hard and then you come back and you're like I'm special, I've been abroad, <clears throat> I speak English, I have all these extra, like I have this outside knowledge, um, but then you come back and people are like, mm, yeah, but you're not really hard working anymore, and you come back and you're like, oh my god, I'm not gonna work until 10 uh, p.m. because, hell no, <laughs> you see, so I definitely see the problem here uh, with these students, uh, they, come, they graduate when they come back, and um, and then just a few jobs like yeah but but I also read somewhere that um, a lot of companies they had problems finding qualified enough people which I think is really random because there are so many Chinese people graduating from university these days um, but I don't know how that is linked to each other maybe we should make another video about that because I have one minute left and then I'm gonna you know hit 10 minutes and then I should stop blah 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 ing <laughs> um chatting sorry <laughs> uh no I don't know if you know anything about that please uh, leave a comment below again as well and if you like this discussion give me a thumbs up subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling and uh <laughs> I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are in the world Ling Ling is out see you again very very soon and bye bye Mwah.